how to create a blog in Hostinger Website Builder. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a blog into your Hostinger Website Builder. So the process is going to be very simple and easy. You're going to head over the H panel or the, or the dashboard of your Hostinger Website Builder. As you can see, it is the case in here. So you're going to click on the websites and uh, it is going to be situated on the left side of the screen, like here, click on websites list. And then we are going to have all of the websites that we have created situated in here. Do here uh, make attention and also for detail uh, that you're going to select the website that has only the Hostinger logo on it and not the W or the WordPress one. So you are going to click on edit website and from here you're going to see the different settings of your website. Basically it is going to load up the website of yours. As you can see, we're going to see the different pages from the navigations and etc. You can add a page in here and see for the blog and add your own blog page. Let's see here if we have a blog page. So we do not. I'm going to start by adding a blog page. And this blog page is going to be with a page URL, also a name. So we are going to give it a name. Also, you can uh, add the social image of it. Also, if you want to some privacy in here, you can add a password, enable the password for it. Uh, here we are going to put here the uh, page URL. So I'm going to click on save here. Now we have added the specific blog. Here we have some examples. You can edit the post from here and etc. And if you want to access the post, you're going basically to click on here on the blog, or you can click on the more in here and select the blog so, such as this. So basically you are going to see all the blogs elements or the blog posts that you have. For example, you have these examples that, that uh, of course, um, the Hostinger platform has created for us. And if you want to create your own, click on add new post, and then you can start customizing it. It is going to be on drafts. So you can go ahead and edit the blog header for the style, as you can see for the uh, text color, also the text size, the visibility of, you can go ahead and set up the description, post category, author, date published, and also the reading time. You can set up the layout for the alignment of the text, as you can see, and also the padding for the top and bottom. And finally, the background. You can add a background color, for example, this for the specific header. And also you can add an image or a video. Now for the specific, as you can see here, uh, section, it is going to be uh, adding a section as you want. You can add multiple sections like it is going to be a normal page in here and then you're going to have it just right there i'm going to remove uh, the specific as you can see here background video so here we have this specific section which is going to be including our image or the representation or the cover of the blog and also some of the text so i'm going to head over chat gpt and create, for example, uh, let's say here, article, write me, I'm going to type in just like this, write me an article, article about the, let's say here, um, best universities, for example, CTs in France, for example. I'm going to type it in here and we are going to wait until ChatGPT is going to have our specific demand. So I'm going to copy and then we are going to refresh the page and see if it is going to write in, in here. So here we have it. We're going to wait for the ChatGPT, but in the meanwhile, you can go ahead and have your specific image have or specific image set up in here. So you can go ahead and edit the image or change the image 
by adding uh, an image of yours. So you can go ahead and add an image. I'm going to have this image added. So I'm going to put a deposit for that image. Wait for it just like here and then we are going to add it in just a few seconds so this is the time that we are going to wait for um here the specific chat gpt conclusion to have it in here now i think that the image is ready so we are going to select it here we have it and then i'm going to make sure that it's, it, this is a text uh, as you can see a paragraph so what I'm going to do basically is having paragraph two, this is a small one. So I'm going to copy the content and put it in here. So as you can see, we have some headings or heading threes and etc. So just like that. So I'm going to let it as it is. And if you are going to see something that is not that, uh, let's say, uh, on the regulation or the specific standards you can go ahead and make it just as much as you want so i'm going to have here the titles here we have some heading twos this is preferably to set up the heading one but it is going to be a little bit big as you can see so we are going to put it as a heading like five and make it bold a little bit so you're going to make sure that you're going to use the right bold uh, titles in here just like that so you're going to put here a specific or let's say a um, right there a title measurement for it and then you're going to have things like this so basically uh, that is how we can create a blog this is a very simple and also very efficient i'm going to ignore this point and this also make sure that it is going to be bold so this is how we can create the, uh, as you can see, a specific blog. You can add some elements in here by adding some elements like text, buttons, images, galleries, videos, and shapes to set up your things. For example, if it is uh, going to be important, for example, you can add this as a decoration. I don't know here and have here some decoration to attract the attention of the specific um uh let's say here uh, audience that you are going to target and you ha you have it basically it is going to give them the uh minutes or the time that you, they are going to spend to read it is going to be calculating the number of uh, the characters and also it is going to be generating here a approximate time and here we have it Basically, that was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.